Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to download and set up for Python, PyCharm and Selenium into our local system and a Windows. Okay. First, what are the prerequisites to download this all the things means first we need to uh, work on with the Selenium with the Python means we require for Python. We need to download and PyCharm for IDE, PyCharm IDE. Okay, this is basically we are going to do for some programming for UI related things. Okay. Now our supporting framework is Selenium. These three things we need to install. Okay. How we can able to do it means first go to Google. Okay. Open google.com and search with the Python. Once you search the Python, you can able to see there is a HTTPS colon www.python.org. It's not a .com, it is a org. And you can able to click this one. You can able to see for the latest version which it is presented, those things here. Okay. Or else you can able to go for downloads place. Once you click the download place, you can able to see for the latest version which is presented. Okay, that is 3.11.0. Okay, even you can able to go ahead first. Uh, uh, Docker image is looking for 2.7 is there. You somebody is not able to install for 3 version, you can able to install for 2.7 also. It's a stable version, it will not change any moment. Okay, or else you can able to with this all the versions. You can able to see in the down there is a table. The table itself it uh, says that the stable versions. This all are stable version you can able to click for the release you can able to check the releases information articles what are the things they modified what exactly they added everything you can able to see and here you can able to say click for download section okay which version you can able to use that particular version you can able to check and click on download for in my system, I'm going to use for 3.8.0. You can able to, I'll click for anything, it's okay. Uh, now I'm going to use a 3.8.8, I'm clicking. And here, once you come to here, you can able to come down. And here, there are versions. Windows installer, you want to click. 64 bit or 32 bit based upon your window system you can able to clear click and download okay in my system it is having a 3.8.0 i'll show you that particular one okay because some uh, issue happened in my system that's why i am not changed for any moment of remaining things you can able to click for 3.8.0 this is the one click on download once you click on the download you can able to come to here on the down you can able to see there are different kind of information it is presented. One is web-based installer, executable file installer, and this many different executable file installers are there. Okay. If you click executable, then ex will be downloaded. Okay. That ex you have to click. Once you click the ex, it will open for download locations pop-up you can able to get it this kind of pop-up and install locations okay which is the location where it is storing and what name it is storing everything it will be presented in this location you have to remember that location i have already is presented that's why i'm going to canceling that execution okay once installation is completed that is you have to click for next next then it will install okay no need to bother about that okay but you have to remember the path where it is exactly if you don't know exactly where it is then you can go to for c drive and you can go for users inside the users usernames and the username you can able to go for app data inside the app data if you go into for local and the local you can able to program programs once you click the programs you will see for python folder 
once you install for 3.8 or above uh, portions, you can able to get it for here the location. You have to go for inside. Inside the 38 is the, your version. You can able to go here. Copy this location. Paste into a notepad. Okay. And then take another one is the scripts. This is a location you have to take for second one. Okay. Why the scripts are required means whenever you want to work for a new a software or new tool to Python, then you have to install that we are going to use for pip. A pip. That pip is going to take over everything in this location only. Where what are the things you are going to install and pip install, which is the software you are going to install it. When, wherever you click on install, that everything comes under here and it will store. It will, every time it will capture for that location. Okay, for that we are going to uh, store for the scripts. And Python is location to find the python.exe. Okay, that IDE finding purpose. These two location once you're done, if you are using for Windows 10, you can able to click for edit environment variables. And then you can able to click that one. And here you can able to program files, path. In this path, you need to click for edit and paste it for these two in the last. Okay, once you're done, you can able to click OK and close it. Okay, then after that, you need to open for command prompt, CMD, then Python space iPhone iPhone version. Once you click that one, then it will provide for version. If it is provide the version, then your down uh, your setup is executed working fine. Okay. Then after that, you have to use for PyCharm installation. For that, you need to use for PyCharm. Then you need to go for Jet Brains. Download PyCharm location. It will give you two downloaders. One is professional, another one is community. See, if you have some money to buy it for professional, you can able to click this one and get it for uh, some buy versions and you need to pay some money and you need to utilize. If you don't have money and you need to use for the free version, then you need to use for community. And download, click, click, then it will open for PyCharm, okay? Everything is completed for up to Python and downloading and setup, installation, everything. Then PyCharm also downloading. Okay. After that, we need to use for Selenium installation. That is a pip. If you are going to see, if you search here Google, and if you are going to Selenium Python, if you enter this one, you can able to see Selenium Python. There are some uh, tools and uh, there are already presented one you can able to check here. Okay. And if you go in the top in installation and Python buildings, then you can able to see there are couple of things install Selenium scripting. Okay. And if you are using the latest version of Python, then you can able to use for pip3. If you are using uh, Python 3.8 or something, you can able to directly also pip, you can able to use install iPhone U capital one and Selenium. Okay. This is the name you're going to use. Selenium, just click enter. Then if it is already presented, then it will give us this requirement is satisfied already. If it is not there, then it will install. I have already, that's what it's showing for installed already okay once installation is completed then you can close it and open for python for such place you can able to enter for py then click this one once it is open then you need to create a new project in that id Then click on here a new one.
click new file new project and you can able to use selenium python demo project click create this window once you enter that one it will take some time it is loading that's why it is not able to allow me because it, it do set up for virtual environment and everything that's why it will take some more time and complete yes now it's everything is completed then you can able to open for terminal once you open the terminal into the pycharm location here also we need to install for the same install install iphone u selenium there are multiple ways we can able to install for our selenium okay one is here the terminal you can able to enter for pip install iphone u selenium and another one is you can able to click for settings file settings command prompt is mandatory to install the selenium because we need to install that plugin selenium plugin into a python why pycharm is we need to communicate with this pycharm id as well as python both need to communication purpose we need to install for pycharm also the software which we are going to use it that is selenium project project location interpreter if you having the py selenium is already here not required if it's not there means click on plus symbol and search for selenium once you see the selenium you can able to see 4.5 Point zero is the latest version it is presented here in the python then click on install the package once you click on the package then it will download for everything for that related packages into a python and it will store it It will take some more time because uh, you need to download all the related selenium uh, uh, things and then it need to be uh, executed and it will keep everything into your selenium place uh, your python to communicate like pycharm as well as python scripting the scripts need to be communicated that moment it will uh, take some more time and it will do that yes it is done now click close here and click OK here. Even you can able to see here the selenium is downloaded here. Click OK. Okay. Now up to here is completed our Python installation, PyCharm installation, and selenium installation. Okay. Next session we will see for how we can able to create our sample of first test case using our Python. We'll see for that one. How can we use it? Okay. That's all about this video. I hope you understand this one. If you like this video, please like me. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. And also comment on this video. Thank you.